Cooking Crew. Today we are getting ready for Valentine's Day. And I thought, what wouldn't be the most pretty thing to get for your like little lady or boo or something, but a wine glass holder. I actually have never, well before yesterday, hadn't subbed on these before. I'm not gonna even lie. I was selling them and <laughs> I had never done it before. But actually I had a complaint. This is the truth. I had a complaint. One of my customers said that she didn't like how it came out. But, so I had to try it out myself just to see, you know, are they crummy? Because if they're crummy, y'all already know how I feel about crummy things. But we ain't going to dwell on that. The bottom line is, is that I had to try it myself to make sure that it came out amazing like I thought that it would um, before I continued to sell them. They come in, the wine glass holders come in two different sizes, an oval and a rectangular shape. When you are printing on this, and this is where I think my customer had an issue, there are two separate sides to print on. One is a flat surface and the other is, well, this one's already done, a shiny surface. Let me show you on one. Here you go. If y'all can see, this one has a sheen to it. And on the other side, it's more flat. So you do not want to print on the flat side. You want to print on the side that looks a little bit more glossy. That way it's going to give your picture a nice, brilliant look. This is one that we actually did and I, I was in agreement with my customer and was like, it's garbage, throw them all away. I told Maria, I said, toss them. But we printed this one first and y'all see how it looks. And then I'm gonna tell y'all too, this design that I did had black on it. Don't do nothing with black spots. That don't look cute on your stuff. So <laughs> we redid it on the other side because Marie was like, well, why don't we flip it and try it on the other side just to see. And when I did that, voila, it was pretty. So I said, well, let's do a better design. Y'all see those black spots? I don't like that. So anyway, I did another one. <laughs> we did all these yesterday and then I think it came out amazing. So I'm gonna do one right here with you guys. I took a collage of me and my little boo thing. I designed it in Canva and I just printed it out two times. I'll do a video later on just teaching y'all how to use Canva. There's so many different things that you can do inside the program. But I'll do a video on that. After I designed it in Canva, I removed the image from there and took it to Silhouette to print. So I print everything in Silhouette and of course printed on our Epson 16600 that I have behind me. But you can definitely print on any sublimation printer that you have. But long as y'all use our HLB Plus Up paper. So this image and along with the other images that I use, uh, printed on our HLV Plus Up paper along with using our HLV Plus Sub ink. So let's get started. I know I just said a mouthful. Let's get this all cut out so we can get taped up. Okay, guys, now that we got our image all cut out, we are going to tape it onto our wine glass holder. So when you do this, be sure two things. One, when you design this, you do not have, I just thought about this. I'm sorry to say the beginning. Make sure you design this. You do not have any image in these three holes because if you do have something that you want in these three holes it's going to get cut off but i'm place our image face up and then our wine glass holder the smooth shiny side i'm going to put it face down and then i'm going to tape it with our thermal tape our thermal tape is here we sell the tape and the dispenser on our website at houseofvinylcrafts.com i love the tape dispenser because you cut like five pieces of tape at one time. It's like everything. So I'm just gonna tape this down. No particular way. Just a little tapey tape on all the sides. Well, not all the sides. And I have preheated our heat press to 400 degrees and we're gonna press it for 60 seconds. So I got it all taped up. Let's hit the press. All right, so now that we're at our press, it is heated up to 400 degrees. The first thing I'm gonna do is take a little bit of butcher paper that I have behind me. You can get butcher paper pretty much anywhere, Costco, Sam's, Amazon. But I use that butcher paper, put it down um, flat onto our heat press so that whatever little bleed that we have on our sublimation paper, it'll just press onto the butcher paper and not mess up the padding. So I'll cut that there 
And then I'll cut another piece of butcher paper. This should be on the safe side. You really don't have to. I'll put the other piece of butcher paper on top of here. So we're gonna press this for 60 seconds at 400 degrees. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. I'll be back. Two, one. Ooh, y'all ready? I'm ready, I'm so ready. Oh, let me show y'all why I put the piece of paper at the at the bottom. Y'all see that? You don't want this on your padding. So, it's a little hot, but we are gonna still take it off, even though it's hot. I hope it's pretty, it's gonna be pretty. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful this is. This is so pretty. Y'all can't tell me. The, I don't know. I don't know what my customer did wrong, but I love this. I think that this is amazing. These come in white also. I ordered some, but they won't be in, unfortunately, before Valentine's Day. But this, the natural wood matte look is so beautiful. Look how clear the image is. Again, these are used using our HOV Plus Sub Sublimation Paper and our HOV Plus Sub Sublimation Ink. You can find it on our website, www.houseofvinylcrafts.com. Thanks for tuning in. Like, share, subscribe. Until the next episode, True Crew. See y'all later.